My 13-inch MacBook Pro turned into a powerhouse simply due to a modular system when using it with an eGPU and an external display. Hi guys, Jens here from All-Star Space. My current configuration for my MacBook Pro 13-inch is as follows. It is the 2017 model with a touch bar and four Thunderbolt 3 ports. It has the 3.1 GHz KB Lake Intel Core i5 with 8GB DDR3 RAM. Please bear in mind it is a dual-core processor. It has 500GB SSD storage in addition to the integrated Intel Iris graphics. I am currently running macOS Mojave 10.14.2 which is the latest version of macOS at the time of this video. My modular system contains of an LG 5K ultra fine display which is connected to my Blackmagic eGPU. This setup means one cable for power supply as well as an enhanced graphic performance due to the AMD Radeon Pro 580 eGPU. It doesn't stop here. I also have the Razer Core X eGPU enclosure with the Vega 64 graphic card which can be found in the iMac Pro. Since I have the eGPUs available, I'm trying to find out how this will speed up my workflow when using Final Cut Pro and other applications in Mac OS. In case you didn't know, my latest eGPU update video explains how to use multiple eGPUs with any MacBook with Thunderbolt 3 ports in Mac OS. It is a total surprise and no additional knowledge and or installation is needed. Please click the link above for the eGPU review video, don't miss out. In order to have the most accurate results, I wiped Final Cut Pro clean on my MacBook Pro and deleted all projects and events including all original media files. I selected a 4K 60 frames per second video clip 22 seconds long which I converted into a master file using the ProRes 422 format. And here are the results. Using the MacBook Pro by itself with the integrated Intel Iris graphics, it took 2 minutes and 4 14 seconds, no surprise here. I then connected the Blackmagic eGPU with the integrated Radeon Pro 580 into one of the Thunderbolt 3 ports on my 2017 MacBook Pro 13 inch. The results are very different, which is expected with an eGPU associated. The export time was 1 minute and 35 seconds. This already is a massive improvement. For my final result, I connected the Razer Core X enclosure, including the RX Vega 64 eGPU, in addition to the Blackmagic Radeon Pro 580. In short, I now have two eGPUs connected to my MacBook Pro to see what can be done performance wise. The result of exporting the 4K 60 frames per second video is an astonishing 1 minute and 16 seconds. So here you have it, the results speak for itself. But what about the other applications? Well, I found that when I was using my 2017 MacBook Pro 13 inch, it was using the Blackmagic eGPU for any daily tasks like using Zoom, editing documents or even working in Adobe Lightroom. It was constantly working in the background. So is this setup for you? It depends on what your needs are. If you want to boost your daily task and have an increased experience when sitting at your desk, this is it. However, if you're like me and want maximum experience when editing videos in Final Cut Pro, two eGPUs will work magic. You can actually see and feel the Vega 64 and the Blackmagic working for all heavy duty editing. It is like cutting a perfect piece of butter. If you are thinking about getting an eGPU, I would recommend buying the Razer Core X with the Vega 64. This is future proof and will get the job done more than just nicely. Please let me know what eGPU you are using, if any, coupled with which laptop slash operating system just comment below i hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe jens here from all star space see you next time peace out